Learn from the past to know the new. Cause and effect is not simple. In all the scriptures on cause and effect, why are some of the causes, conditions and effects so clearly explained? It is because the public for corresponding with the roots needs to be told so clearly and so thoroughly. Sometimes it is not said because the public for corresponding with the roots does not need it at that time. How should we look at these scriptures on cause and effect in our present age? If the Buddha has made it clear, we must remember it. If he has not made it clear, we must put our minds to it, use our heads and think about it by ourselves according to the laws of cause and effect. Don't ever think that the scriptures on cause and effect are simple. Are they simple? Can you explain all the causes and effects clearly? Can you clarify everything that is not explained clearly? If you can understand them all, then you will naturally achieve success. If you don't seek or keep the precepts, you will certainly keep them. You will make a vow even if you aren't good at vowing, because you understand cause and effect thoroughly. If you understand cause and effect thoroughly, you will shape a good life for yourself, and you will be better and better in life and in life. If you don't understand cause and effect, you will practice blindly, you will create karma blindly, and you will not get good even if you want to. Just like the Surangama Sutra says, such worldly practitioners do not achieve supreme bodhi, and even other hearers and sages enlightened by conditions, and all the heavenly demons, etc., they are practicing supreme bodhi, but they end up practicing those things, why? It is because not knowing the two fundamentals. The first of the two kinds of fundamentals is cause and effect, that is, the root of beginningless birth and death. Why do I speak of the root of beginningless birth and death as cause and effect? Because when you create the cause, you will show the effect, and when the effect is finished, it is called death. In the process of this effect, you are still creating, then in the future show again, what cause you create, what effect you will show, so it is called cause and effect, the root of the beginningless of life and death is a problem of cause and effect. People say, the cause and effect is too simple. The evil karma will be received evil retributions. But, do you know what kind of evil retributions you will receive for creating what evil karma? Are you clear? Are you thorough? Have you memorized it? When you create karma, do you know what your karma will be like? If you don't know, then you won't say you know cause and effect. If you really understand it, everything is fine. This condition can change everything. Are we shaping a future of infinite afflictions and sufferings for ourselves from time to time? Or are we shaping a future of peace and happiness for ourselves all the time? It is up to your single mind to decide which way to go.